जम्मू लिंक्स न्यूज टॉप स्टोरीज इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय तस्या हर्बल्स अल्कोहल बेस्ड हैंड सैनिटाइजर विद नीम एंड एलोवेरा एक्सट्रैक्ट हेल्पिंग इंडिया फाइट कोविड 19 The Mata Vaishno Devi Shrine Board Jammu and Kashmir on Monday said that all devotees coming from outside the union territory are required to bring valid coronavirus negative test report which should not be more than 48 hours old at the time of arrival. Pilgrimage to Mata Vaishno Devi temple resumed on August 16th nearly 5 months after it was suspended due to COVID-19. Devotees will not be allowed to enter the temple without a COVID-19 negative test report. BJP Jammu and Kashmir paid tributes to the former Union Minister Arun Jaitley on his first death anniversary at party headquarters Trikutanagar Jammu. BJP leaders termed the loss of Jaitley ji as a personal loss to whole of BJP and Jammu and Kashmir in particular. Casual laborers and need-based workers of various departments held strong protest demonstration in support of the long pending demands. A large number of temporary workers under the banner of Jammu and Kashmir Casual Laborers United Front led by heads of various departmental unions assembled near Divisional Commissioner Jammu and staged strong protest demonstration. They were carrying banners and placards in hands and shouting slogans in support of their demand. <laughs> Volunteer Retirement Scheme Union of JNK RTC Jammu on Monday held a protest demonstration near Press Club Jammu under the leadership of Devraj Bali President VRS Union Jammu. They were demanding release of their sixth pay commission arrears, cost of living allowance arrears with effect from 1999, implementation of the corporation benefits and bonus at 8.33% on basis pay. They also warned that the union will not be compelled to protest if their issues were not redressed at an earliest. Accusing the BJP government of failing back on its promises of saving the lands and jobs of locals of JNK, Harshdev Singh chairman JKNPP and former minister said that not only the general public but the educated youth were highly disappointed over the flip-flops of the ruling party over the issues. He said this while the government had failed to bring any law till date so as to save the lands of locals from outsiders the job policy as enumerated through domicile law and further antagonized the youth of JNK ke se constitutional safeguards hone chahiye jammu kashmir ke naujawanon ke jobs ko bachane ke liye aage hi bahut limited jobs hain और जिस तरीके से नौजवानों के साथ एक बदसलूकी यहाँ जम्मू कश्मीर में की जा रही है उनके अधिकारों के ऊपर डाका डाला जा रहा है उसको पैंथर्स पार्टी एक्सेप्ट करने के लिए हर गिज तैयार नहीं है Indian Congress President Sonia Gandhi on Monday offered to quit asking the Congress Working Committee to initiate the process for selecting a new party chief sources said In her opening remarks at the meeting called in the wake of a section of leaders seeking a full-time and visible Congress president Sonia Gandhi made the offer to quit saying she had given a detailed reply on the issue to AICC Journal Secretary KC Venugopal <laughs> violated ceasefire along line of control in Sundarbani sector of Rajouri district on Monday the ceasefire violation by Pakistan took place at around 1:30 pm today by firing with small arms and intense shelling with mortars indian army is retaliating befittingly Ulam Nabi Azad one of the 23 congress leaders who wrote to party chief seeking an overhaul in the organization among other things on monday said he was ready to step down if he was in any manner helping the bharatiya janata party or working at its best azad's explanation came at the meeting of the congress working committee over the letter written by him and other party leaders calling for sweeping reforms in the organization <laughs> In a major breakthrough, five suspected drug peddlers were arrested in Jammu and Kashmir's Kathua district on Monday. And around 52 kg poppy straw and 507 bottles of a banned cough syrup seized from them. The poppy straw was seized from three Punjab-bound gas tankers, while the cough syrup bottles were found in a truck coming from the neighboring state. <laughs> Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat on Monday stated that India has military options to deal with the Chinese on the issue of transgressions if talks between both the countries at the military and diplomatic level don't yield any results. India and China are engaged in a standoff since April May over the transgressions by the Chinese army in multiple areas including Finger area, Galwan Valley hot springs and Kongru Nala. 
The talks between the two sides have been going on for the last three months, including five lieutenant journal level talks, but have failed to yield any results so far. A single day spike of 61,408 COVID 19 cases took India's virus case load past the 31 lakh mark on Monday, a day after it crossed 30 lakh, while recovery surged to 23 lakh 38,035, pushing the recovery rate to over 75%. There are 7,10,771 active cases of coronavirus infection in the country, which comprises 22.88% of the total case load. India's COVID-19 tally had crossed the 20 lakh mark on August 7. Over a dozen public health engineering casual labourers were detained after police foiled their sit-in protest in the summer capital on Monday, demanding regularisation of services and release of pending wages. Scores of PHG casual workers led by JNK Casual and Daily Wagers, Forum President in Pratap Park opposite Press Enclave in the city on Wednesday to protest against the move by the government to fill 10,000 Class 4 vacancies through SSB without regularizing their services.